Hey, I'm Scott Kirzner with another episode of the Gen AI Toolbox. Today, we're looking at a really interesting tool called Custom GPT. There are other tools out there similar to this. Uh, one's called Chatbase, one's called Let's Ask AI. But what we liked about Custom GPT, and one of the reasons we decided to use it for a test of our InnoLead content and a beta launch on our InnoLead website, was that it uses uh, GPT-4 rather than GPT-3.5. And also it has some features around uh, linking to sources of, uh, of its answers so you understand where the information is coming from. You'll see from the pricing page, there is no way to use this for free. Uh, this and, and many others really are tools that you have to pay for. And the whole value proposition here is that you can take a bunch of content, maybe it's your website, maybe it's PDFs or Word docs or audio or video recordings that you've made and basically enable people to have a conversation similar to chat GPT with that content and get answers. Custom GPT makes that really easy. I haven't tried using an XML sitemap to have it crawl a website and pull in data that way, but I have uploaded lots of different formats of documents, uh, whether they are spreadsheets or PDFs or Word docs. Um, just as a test, I uploaded the manuscript of a book I wrote about the movie industry a few years ago. And a minute or two later, I was able to start asking questions and get accurate answers from it. What you get at the end of the process is either a link that you can share with people. Maybe this is something you want to use internally with your team, or there are different kinds of embed codes so that you can put the chat interface on a publicly facing website. Here's an example of what it looks like uh, embedded into the InnoLead website. There are lots of limitations. Uh, it can be very hard for a non-technical person to fine tune uh, chatbot's answers. And obviously if you played with Bard or you played with custom GPT, you know you don't always get perfect answers from them. In my experience, you're getting a B, maybe a C plus kind of product. It's going to stumble at times. It's going to get confused. There's going to be information that you know you gave it, you uploaded, and somehow it just can't recapitulate or uh, present that information. I also think uh, with all these chatbots, being able to fine tune them and tell them, you know, go to the most recent document on a topic, not the oldest document on a topic, or... Um, this type of document should always get precedence when you're giving an answer over another type of document. Um, and also the other thing that I'd love to see with custom GPT are ways to uh, see data about what kinds of questions people are asking. Every week on the Gen AI Toolbox, we rate tools according to five criteria. They are ease of learning, time saved, quality of the end product, overall value, and practicality. I thought the Practicality, the ease of learning, uh, the time saved in building something like this were amazing with custom GPT. I just still have issues with chatbots in general and their ability to give great answers for questions. So I'm gonna give custom GPT right now 3.5 stars. This is a relatively new product. I think it's gonna get a lot better, but thanks for watching. And I'd love to hear what you think of custom GPT or other similar tools.